Hi, I'm Tim Nesmith, Ship Superintendent and Education Outreach Coordinator for the USS Kidd Veterans Museum. Welcome to Kid Bits, the museum's video resource series for educators and students. In our first episode, we asked the question, what is a destroyer? Well, for this episode, we're focusing on another common question. What does it mean when we say that Kid is a Fletcher class destroyer? From earlier episodes, we know that Kid's ship type is a destroyer, and that her whole number of 661 means that she is the 661st destroyer contracted to be built by the U.S. Navy. The term Fletcher class refers specifically to her design. Let's use cars and aircraft to compare. This is a 1965 Ford Mustang. This is a 2020 Ford Mustang. The model of the car, a Ford Mustang, is the same as the ship type, a destroyer. The make of the car, 1965 versus 2020, is the same as the ship class, in Kid's case, the Fletcher class. You can do the same with aircraft. Each of these aircraft are considered fighters, but their designs, a modern-day F-15 Eagle, a Korean War era F-86 Sabre, and even a World War II era P-40 Warhawk like Joy seen here at the museum are what make them different from each other. The Fletcher class design of U.S. Naval Destroyer came about as a result of a long period of restrictions and experimentation on destroyer design. After World War I ended, a series of disarmament conferences and treaties were held between the major world powers of the time, attempting to circumvent another naval arms race. Though destroyers were not regulated in the first treaty, the United States neither built nor developed new destroyers until after 1930. Anticipating hostilities on the horizon, the Navy built 10 different designs of destroyer over the next 10 years, some simultaneously. New technology made them vastly improved over the World War I era destroyer designs, resulting in veteran destroyer sailors dubbing them gold platers because of how luxurious they were by comparison. The new Fletcher class benefited from the earlier experimentation and was specifically designed for the long distances of the Pacific Ocean. It was the first class not hindered by the restrictions of the naval treaties. They were larger and more heavily armed than their predecessors, but less top-heavy and thus able to carry more armament. This allowed them to meet multiple threats from surface, submersible, and aerial threats, as well as taking the fight to the enemy via shore bombardments. In spite of the added displacement, Fletchers were fast and could play offense just as easily as defense. Design experimentation only accelerated during World War II, the armament configurations of Fletchers morphed throughout the war to meet changing needs and upgraded technologies in an almost modern-day video game plug-and-play type manner. Three members of the class were even adapted to carry aircraft in a failed experiment before reverting back to their original configuration. Fletchers were robust packing a larger punch than many ships their size and very capable of taking severe damage only to return the favor to the enemy later after repairs in the shipyard. The Fletcher destroyers Johnston, Heerman, and Hull, along with four smaller destroyer escorts, went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Japanese fleet of four battleships, eight cruisers, and 11 destroyers. They turned the Japanese ships away from the beachhead and the carrier group they were protecting, losing Johnston, Hull, and the destroyer escort Samuel B. Roberts in the process, with the rest taking various levels of damage. In other actions, Foote and Abner Reed both lost their sterns but returned to action after repairs. O'Bannon peeled her bow back from damage. Others, like Kidd, took damage from kamikazes, even being holed from side to side, but returned to fight again. The U.S. Navy built 175 Fletcher-class destroyers from 1941 to 1945 making this the most numerous destroyer design built to date. They saw service in World War II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, and the Cold War, with the last one retiring from U.S. service in 1972. Nineteen were lost in combat during World War II, with another six making it home, 
but being scrapped after repairs were deemed cost prohibitive. Fletcher served in the navies of 14 other Allied nations in later years, with the last, the former USS John Rogers, now known as Cuitlahuac, retiring from the Mexican Navy in 2001 in the 21st century. Only four Fletchers remain to this day, now serving as museum ships. USS Kidd, located here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. USS Cass and Young, located in Boston, Massachusetts. USS The Sullivans is located in Buffalo, New York. And the former USS Charette, now known as Velos, which translates to arrow in English, located in Thessaloniki, Greece. Of the four, Kidd is the only vessel to retain her World War II configuration with her three sisters largely reflecting their Cold War era modifications. Thanks for watching Kid Bits. I hope that answered a few of your questions. The USS Kid Veterans Museum is a nonprofit educational organization that receives no regular state or federal funding. To plan your next field trip or your next overnight camping adventure or to access our teacher resources, click on the links below Remember to like and remember to subscribe. We'll see you next time.